Welcome to Everyday Cooking. Today we are going to make a very delicious recipe, egg chukka. I am going to use 3 eggs for the recipe. To this add the required amount of salt and a teaspoon of chilli powder. Now give this a nice beat. Now take a small bowl and grease it with oil. Pour the beaten eggs into this. We are going to steam cook this and I am going to use an idli steamer for this. It is not compulsory to cook in this idli steamer. You can use any kind of steamer for this. Steam cook this for 10 to 15 minutes. The egg is ready. We can take it out now. Let this cool down a little bit so that it will be easy for us to take it out. Now let us cut this into small pieces. The eggs are ready, set this aside. Now let us move on to the masala part. For preparing the masala, I am here using the healthy idayam sesame or gingerly oil. Once oil is hot enough, you can add one chopped onion, few curry leaves and one big spoon of ginger garlic paste. Saute everything well until the onions turns translucent. Once done, add two chopped tomatoes and the required amount of salt. The tomatoes has to get cooked well, so saute this for another 2 to 3 minutes and close it and cook until the tomatoes turn soft. The tomatoes are soft now, we could easily mash them. To this add few coriander leaves, few mint leaves, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin powder, 2 teaspoons of coriander powder, 2 teaspoons of chilli powder, half a teaspoon of pepper powder and half a teaspoon of garam masala. Now give this a nice saute. Close this and cook in low to medium flame until the oil oozes out. Here the oil has oozed out, it has to be like this. Saute this for another 1 or 2 minutes and then add a little water. Adding a little water will turn this mixture into a nice gravy. Again the oil will ooze out at one stage, so at that stage you can add the eggs. Mix everything together. Let this be on the flame for another 2-3 to three minutes for the masala to get combined with the eggs. Top this with few coriander leaves and your gravy is ready. Egg chukka will taste so so good with any kind of breads. You can have this as a side dish for rice, roti, chapatis, idlis and dosas. Hope you like the recipe. We'll join you in another interesting recipe and don't forget to subscribe our channel.